Do y'all know who you have in your circle? I want you to take a good look at who you think is in your circle. Because a lot of us have people in our circle that are actually not good for our circle. They're, they're just not good for the circle, but we have them there. So we need to take a look at the people in your circle. Because some of those people in your circle, they will betray you in a heartbeat. The table, she's gonna be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film Astaire, me. Astaire, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't, no, no, she, yeah, cause she We have a lot of people in our circle that we then end up with or that we're with. And they will do whatever it takes to break you, break that system down that you're building. That man have put so much effort into building a legacy, right? From the wild, wild west. See, y'all should know the wild, wild west. Building a legacy. Building something for himself, his kids, and his community. Man, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air always talking about Philly. You know, he helped make people know that, yo, Philly's still on the map. Now we here. People come from Philly, they all talk about Philly. Yeah, 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 Philly. Man, but what is he going through right now? He's going through some of the craziest and selfish thing right now. And he's going through that because of the woman that's in his circle. Man, if you don't know who's in your circle, stop paying attention to the people that's in your circle because they will bring the enemy to your gate and tell the enemy how to get in and destroy your life. And they'll pretend that they're not doing it. And they'll stay outside and sit down and act as if they have nothing to do with it. They'll play the naive card. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I didn't do this. He, he's just there. He's just doing whatever. Oh my gosh, like that's his fault. And they're doing all that just to tear you down. Why are they tearing you down? Because they couldn't. They know they can't do better than you. They know they're not used to it. They can't do better than you. Chances are they're not used to it because the people that they were with before you were just no good. They were just riding them true. And now they came across a guy like you. A guy who's doing so well, who wants to build, and who's, who's doing the things to make things good, not just for himself, but for his family and the people around him, his circle. But you got that one person in your circle, man, that is not used to nothing that's good. They'll just try to tear that shit down. They'll bring the enemy to the gate and tell the enemy, come through this door and destroy him. Destroy him. Break this shit down. Man, they're worse than torture and horse. And the sad thing about it, they're doing all this shit and then still turn around and depend on you. It's like, man, not only is this, not only is this naive for them to then depend on you, for wanting to be, they want to be in the space with you. That they did, that they destroyed it, and now they want to be in it. <laughs> oh man, man, that shit makes sense. That shit, that that shit. You know, the only sense that it makes right there is that we need to know who's in our circle. We need to evaluate to our circle. We need to really take a close look at our circle. Now, some of you, we may not see it right away. No zoom in our circle, but here's some here's some critical thing that you can definitely ask. Matter of fact, here's some critical thing that you need to pay attention to. You need to look at this. When you're doing good in your life, is that person supporting, celebrating that good with you? Or are they cringing? Do they look upset? Are they upset? What are they doing? Like, what's the energy that they're giving off? What's their character like? Are they saying, yeah, I'm happy for you, baby. I'm happy for you. Or are they out there like doing their own thing because they feel like they should be in the position that you're in and you don't deserve to be in that position. Man, coming up as a child, how, how, my, my parents will say things, yo, be careful of the friends that you keep. Be careful of the friends that you keep. Be careful who you tell your business to. Be careful what you do and be careful how you do it because some people 
Some people, they're not there for you. They're so jealous of the things that you do. They believe that it should be them. And the thing about it, they're not even working towards what you're working towards. They're not even trying to make life better for themselves. And they envy you. That's evil right there, man. Evil. When God created this earth, what did the devil do? Try to rob that creation. God did good. The devil came in feeling envious of what God did because the devil felt like he should be the one that actually did it. Why? Because he wanted credit? Nah, because he's a leech. He likes attention. He wants attention. And that's what most of us good fathers we're dealing with. These people that want the attention so bad, they do whatever they can do to break down what's not theirs what they never took the time to build they want to break it down so you got to look at who you in your circle man if you tell your girl that you want to do something and she cringe and she ain't celebrating with that on you and she ain't happy that you're doing it and she don't even ask you oh why do you want to do this what's important about it or try to have a conversation to understand she's like nah. oh my gosh oh, oh, it's it's only him what do you do? I want to do it too because of that. Man, let that go. Let that go. Don't even hold on to it anymore. Let it go. Let it go. Be like, yo, you got to go. You're not here to try to help me, Bill. You're here to tear down. You're here to bring the enemy in to tear down what I'm building. You're here to do all this thing. Talk bad about me. Disrespect me behind my back. Insult me behind my back. Bring my business out there. Tell these people what's going on. Because what? Because you want attention. Attention is what you want. So if you want the attention so bad, leave my circle. Don't be in my circle trying to get the attention that I worked to make sure that my circle and that what I'm building is sustainable and good for my generation. Hello, leave me, let me build that. Don't try to break that down. Don't come in to break that down, believing that, yeah, you should be doing it, I shouldn't be doing it. Go do your own thing. Go out there, go build. Go build. You see me building, build with me. You see me building, build. Let's build together. It's called wealth. Let's build the wealth together for the family, for everybody. But nah, you want the attention so bad, you think you deserve it of it. And it's you're not the one putting the time and the sweat to make it happen. But you want to take it because you're jealous and you feel like you're entitled. Entitled. And then it gets so bad when fathers are in this situation. Good fathers, man. Now, before I go on to this, ladies, one question I ain't got to ask you, man. Are you that desperate for attention? You will try to disruin your husband, spouse, or child's father just to be an anchor to him? <laughs> what do y'all thought I was going to say? You do all that just to be an anchor to him. To prove to him that you need him, he doesn't need you. Well, I, I think that's a definition of deadbeat, actually. That's a definition of a leech, where you leech on something so much, you can't survive without it. You suck the life out of it. You can't survive without it. But then you look for something else to suck the life out of. Why well, I'm going to say this, man. Fathers men young men out there pay attention to the people you have in your circle because some of these people in your circle not only are they there bringing the enemy at the gate or trying to tear you down from inside out they're also just not good for you man they're like an anchor they're they're stagnant they're stagnant in your life without realizing that if you are anchored they are also anchored and they become stressful, resentful, and so forth. Yo, it's important that we know who's in our circle. 
It's important that we roll with people that support us, that is there to help us grow, that is there to help make us better. It's important that we continue to do that. It's important that we continue to grow. It's important that we continue to create. And it's way more important that we let go of the people in our circle that's betraying us. You got to let them go, man. You have to let go of the people in your circle that's betraying you. They ain't trying to make things better for you. They're not trying to help. They're not trying to help you. <laughs> They're not trying to do anything. They're jealous of you. They envy you. So they're trying to break down what you create because they felt like they should have been the one who created it. Yo, fellas, also, you don't want to know the next way you could also tell these people in your circle? You try to work with them and they're like, oh, I don't want to work with you. Right there, that should tell you, man. Yo, oftentimes, people believe that you will do things to them because they would do it to you without hesitation. Without hesitation, they will do that shit to you, believing you will do it to them. So you got to know who's in your circle. Hey man, yo, join me on the next podcast. We're going to talk about when it comes to really selecting people to be with. We have some hot topics that's coming up, man, on this podcast series. Selecting people to be with, people that will help you grow, making good selection so that you don't get tied up in things that doesn't work for you. Guys, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Come in, stay tuned for the podcast. You know, in the future, I think I'm going to separate the podcast and just create a separate channel. But come in, man. It's tuned for the podcast. It's here. We're here. We're going to be going live from time to time. We're going to be talking about a lot of things that needs to be talked about. Man, this channel is here to help dads, to help young men, to help families stay together, become better, to bring awareness to things that's out there that's causing breakage and spreading generational curse we're here to bring awareness to that we're here to make our bloodline better we're here to make things better man we are here to expose toxicity and make better selection in our life guys hit that subscribe button see you in the next 